Hello everyone. Welcome to OJ Patterns. Today we'll be working on um a symmetric pet design. So you have the picture beside you, so we have to talk about the details of the skirt. So one thing we wanna note is that the skirt has only one dot. Number two, the skirt is a pencil skirt. So the first thing we want to do is get our sloper. Now this is the center back and this is the center front. So we'll work on the CF and the CD. Now at the back part, the center back has an inverted slit here. So like an inverted slit, it has a cover in it here and then the opening. So that means you're not seeing, it's not opened. It has a fabric underneath it, inverted slit. Why the front has slit, knife slit in front. So the first thing we want to note, take note of is the fact that it's a pencil skirt. So what we want to do is pencil our pattern. So we've actually converted our dart to one. So you don't want that knife to so pencil the pattern. Now this is the side seam. This is the side seam. This is my CF and this is the CB. So we'll shape the side by 2 cm or 1 cm depending on how shape you want it to be so i'll just use 2 cm so this is the side seam of the center front and i'll use 2 cm next using my ruler connect it to the hip connect it to nothing on the hip okay and keep this aside Get the center back and repeat same. So we'll go to CM and then using the ruler connect it to nothing on the hip line. Okay. Next is to cut out the two CM. So both center front and center back so you have to take it out So we'll cut it out. Working with the center front, we we'll determine where the design will be. So we'll determine where the design will be, so you can from the hip line as the hip level, we can go down. Let's say by six or seven so let's work with seven cm i take seven cm down and then i'll square out seven cm down and nice we have to decide how wide we want it to be that's the length of the knife slit in between so we'll work with five cm so it's visible enough so let's just work with five cm. You can decide what you want. So you have to leave it now. This is number one, this is two, and this is three. This is hip line. Mm -hmm. So this is our tie line. Okay, next, this is center front. Center from because by the time we cut out what we need to know the side, we need to know the center front that is gonna be on food. Okay, next we cut out the three pieces. Before you cut out, please always use your balance mark. So that way you know the part that you're attaching to the next one. So cut out now. Please always label your pattern.
for anyone that took it out to be able to understand it. Okay. So this is it. So I keep this aside and then we'll work with the plate. So for the plate, what you want to do is measure what you have at the top. We have 12 cm. So you get the measurements. You don't forget for your gathers plate. For you to get the excess um, ease, you need to, whatever measurement you are working with, you times it by 3. So whatever measurement you are working with, multiply it by 3. To give you the extra room for the food. So we are having nice plates here. So that we, so after measuring our, our number 2, we have 12. So 12 times 3 is 36. So next... We're going to divide the measurements as 36 by the amount of slash we want. So we're going to slash into 5. So if you divide 36 by 5, we get 7. So this is 36 divided by 5. We we'll get 7.2. So this is the excess we'll be adding. That's the extra ease we'll be adding for the food. 7.2. Now this measurement is to keep it aside and then this we're using it. So the first thing we want to do is divide this, divide the 12 by 5. So we're making it, so 12 by, divided by 5 is 2.4, so I'll mark 2.4. 2.4 our mark and from there mark the next 2.4 the next 2.4 and the next 2.4 and then I'll square it down So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now your center front is on food. You have to indicate that before you cut out the piece. Center front is on food. You always have to indicate this before you cut out your piece. Okay, next we're going to be cutting it out. And then place on another paper. I'll be using a compression paper spread out. Okay. So you want to get a straight grain first. So I'll just measure like an inch of bread and square out to get a straight grain so I can also be able to add a uh, seam allowance, uh, allowance at the top and at the bottom part. Okay, so we have our straight grain. Next, I'll get I'll also straighten this part so I can place my center front on a straight edge. Okay, next I have the center front. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and if you have any comments. Or observation drop it in the comment section below okay so i'll place it the center front on the straight grain here now the distance between so the ease we have for the food is the measurement 7.2 that we did that's the duration we did so i'll measure 7.2 from here
Okay, now I'm done attaching it based on the 7.2 cm. So this is one, two, three, four, five. And the center front is on fold. Next, I'm gonna be attaching the seam, the seam allowance. So we have one seam here because we're attaching it to the third part. One seam, one seam. Then on the side seam, we would have 1.5 as usual. 1.5 on the side seam, 1.5 on the side seam, and then at the top part we'll have one seam for seam allowance. So we have one seam and then one square. Right. So let me use the marker here now. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notification. So you can get you can easily get notified whenever I make a new post. Please click on the like button. And don't forget if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. We'll be attended to yourself. Okay, so I have my one same attached, one same at the top, one same at the bottom part, and then we we'll have the CF on food. So if I'm putting my fabric now, this center front is gonna be placed on food. This is it. So this is how when you're done cutting, you open it up and then you fold. So don't forget that you can decide to reduce the amount of ease to add on it. But with this, if you use this to add on it, you get your pleats will come out really full and nice. So you can decide if you want to reduce it if you don't want it to be too pronounced. But this is it this is how it's gonna come out being in the middle so i would next i will be attaching this part to add necessary similar similar ones so that's the one and three So perfect. Next, I'll add the necessary seam allowance. Don't forget to label. Now, the center front part is caught on fold, so I need to indicate that here it is on fold, and this is the side seam. So we'll be attached, adding one seam at the at the bottom part for seam allowance. 1.5 on the side, 1.5 on the side, 1 cm at the top part, Please don't forget to always leave your pattern. 
Oh, this is a Rebecca. So next, I'll put them out. We have one, two, so we're doing the third part. So we also attach that and then add the necessary same allowance. See the reason for labeling, you know, you know the CF, this is the top part, this is your balance mark showing, this is your side seam, and this is the end. So that's why it's best for you to always write out the details. Ensure those are characteristics of a good pattern, so you ensure that your pattern carries out all the necessary details that it needs to come with. Okay, next is to add necessary seam allowance. Don't forget your center front is on fold, so we have to indicate that. Okay, at the top part to add one seam, one seam. At the side, we're adding 1.5, the side seam. At the hem, we're adding 3 cm because it's a pencil skirt. It's a straight cut at the bottom. So, We're done. So all we need to do now is indicate the details. Now this is a straight grain and this is caught on food. Even the pleats would be straight grain. And then it's caught on food. So this is straight grain caught on food. Okay. So this is it for the front pattern. Now we'll move to the back. Move to the back.
And then for the back, the first thing we want to do is that we're shaping the side. So you have to indicate the side seam. And this is the center back. Next is place it on the contrasting paper so I will add the complete details on it. That's what we'll be doing next. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe. Please drop a comment in the comment section or drop a hat. Yes, drop a hat. This is beneficial to you. Okay. So let's keep it down. Next step is add three cm at the bottom for him. So we're adding three cm down here for him. 1.5 1 cm at the top okay next the zip allowance is 3 cm 3 cm for zip allowance 3 cm So what you want to do is, when you, we need to indicate where we want the inverted pleats to start at the back. So we've been doing 3 cm for zip allowance. So when we get to where we want the inverted pleat to start, we need to add extra to it. So let's say I will go down from my hip line by 6 cm. So I measure the 3 cm and then you add additional 1.5 or 2 cm. So I just work with 2 cm. So at the end of the day, from where the inverted plate will start, it becomes 5 cm. So we'll measure 5 cm downwards so that we can use the extras for the plate and then we'll connect. This is 3 cm for a zip. This is 5 cm. So that's 5 cm because of the inverted plates at the back part, at the bottom part. So this is it. So we have cut two pieces and then we have a straight grain. So another thing you want to indicate is this part of the inverted plate has to be on food. So here we also have to indicate that this part is on food. So here will be on food, then there's no food here, just here, this part of the inverted plate has to be on food. I'm going to cut out now. So that means if you are placing this, if you want to cut this, so it's going to be cut two pieces on food because this part is on food. So you just need to put the fabric. Let me give you an example. Don't forget it's a straight grain. So 
see for the fabric. So this is a for this is a folded edge and then you place it this way. So these are your little cuts. One pack is unfold. The top part is not unfold. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please drop it in the comment section below. Thank you. And this is the final view. So we have the back part and we have the front beside it. Don't forget the CF is cut on fold. So we are cutting this part is gonna be opened up to cut and then later you form your pleats. So this is it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.